Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. I'm back with another update on the Las Vegas Loop at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Progress is, unbelievably, still very, very good. Despite current situations, the crane's still operating, the TBM's still operating, they still appear to be actually working on all three sites of the project. Uh, I'm so surprised if you'd asked me this a month ago, I would have said this project is probably going to lose a lot of progress. But really things have not stopped one little bit. So what I thought is we could do a nice little update on the project and have a look at what's been going on. Start from the very basics. Where are they building on the Las Vegas Convention Center plots and where they intend to go? So here's our overview. Here's our plan. We have three stations. Top left, we have the new exhibition center. This is the bit that's going to be opening, I believe, um, early next year. So we've got our above ground station here at number three. At number two, we are having our underground station. It's remaining as an underground station. The plans have been adapted. Um, there's no real... Um, it's not. It, it wouldn't make sense to have an above ground station here. Because you have vehicles uh, going through the system at quite high speeds so you need somewhere where basically you can come off of the main route and let uh, passengers disembark from the vehicles number one is our launch pit this is where the magic first began as you can see this is also the busiest part of the project this is where we have launched the tbm on both occasions this is where all the muck from the muck, muck trains is being collected, is then moved off site for disposal. As you can see, this crane here, this excavator, and we have all these uh, stacks of precast concrete segments which are being installed in the tunnel. This crane is very, very busy all day long, uh, and, and, and work with this excavator is sporadic, depending on when they're bringing up spoil from the excavation. So this is inside our launch pit. As you can see, tunnel A is completed. That's been completed for over a month now. This is tunnel B. This picture was taken on the, I believe it was either the 19th or the 20th of March of this year. As you can see, the tunnel shield is progressing its way through. And here we are. Here is progress as of last week. As you see, things are ongoing. Here's some more progress. Excellent, excellent progress on site. There's not really much you can see, but this crane is in constant, constant motion. They're constantly bringing up spoil. That for me is a very, very good sign. Seems to be the same number of people on site as there were three or four months ago. Again, that's good. Again, progress seems to be moving. As you can see, we are using our precast concrete segments, which is here, top left. Now, this is one of the newer cameras. This is station three at the new part of the uh, exhibition center. As you can see, this is where the TBM was removed uh, from the reception shaft. They've also built this very, very nice ramp here. Um, so they've installed these secant piles here um, with the steel beams inside. Rather than using actual rebar, they've used these steel beams, which is quite common in the US, actually. The good thing about that is that that then allows you to very, very easily weld the uh, ring beam directly to that that soldier pile inside there and then you have one conti continuous member which is running perpendicular perpendicular to your secant piles here it is from uh, further away uh, they've just begun to install the ring beam here you get a better look on the next picture as you can see they have pretty much finished that there they, I had imagined that they are then going to excavate further down for the remainder of this ramp, possibly another uh, 8 to 12 feet, maybe slightly more. 
In addition to this, I imagine there will be another ramp built alongside this, which will be the second reception shaft. I could be wrong on that. I just don't think they're going to bring them up at the same location. I think they're going to bring one up alongside this one. Here we are back at station one. So this was station three. This is station one. Again, work is still continuing. Here we are back in the morning. Precast concrete segments being dropped back into the uh, uh, the launch pit. Again, we're continuing to, to really work our way through a lot of secant piles. Uh, not secant piles, I, I mean prefabricate, prefabricate concrete segments. The tunnel is progressing. Now, the key question is how far is the tunnel progressing? Because really we've not had any press releases. Unlike the first tunnel, we had... I believe three press releases. Um, so we had a press release to say they they got almost halfway. Then we had another one soon after saying that they, they were getting close to the end. And then a final one to say the tunnel was completed. So far, I've heard a few things. A few th people have been telling me it's been going very, very well. The start of this tunnel compared to the last one. So we don't know exactly how far the tunnel is going, but we know pretty confidently that they are beating their previous rates of progress in the old tunnel. So as you can see, materials are continuing to flow into the tunnel and spoil is continuing to flow out of the tunnel. Now this is one of the new cameras. I, I only found this about four days ago. This is station two. So this is the station in the middle of the convention center. This is where we're going to have our one and only underground station. So this is going to be possibly the most interesting camera to watch out of all the cameras. Other than possibly station three when they do make do break through for that final tunnel. Um, so this is going to be quite a deep excavation. Possibly more than 40 foot. Um, on the original plans this was over 200 foot long and around 100 foot wide. So uh, it, it, maybe slightly under 100 foot wide. So it's a pretty big excavation. Um, they're going to have to fit a lot of vehicles in there. So that's why it needs to be so long and so wide. I believe uh, the renders that I have seen for this particular station, they're going to cover it up at the end. So there'll only be an escalator down to the station and a lift. Um, and everything else will be covered up uh, with a large concrete slab. And then they can use the land above the station as they are presently, possibly as a car park. But this will be quite interesting. I imagine um, in the next sort of two to four weeks, we're going to see all the secant piles go in. They are then going to crop those piles and then install uh, the first ring beam and props. Then they're going to uh, do their second uh, part of the excavation. Then they're going to install a second ring beam and that's when they're going to get the actual um, <coughs> area ready for when the tunnel is going to come through there. So let's summarise before we finish the video. Progress to date tunnel B. It's unclear the exact rate of progress since the 18th of March 2020. People have told me that they have made very good progress in the first week since that TBM was started on Tunnel B. So based on that, and based on what the progress was at Tunnel A, I'm kind of estimating um, somewhere in the region of 340 to 420 metres of progress so far as of today. Now, I expect progress, the rate of progress to increase slightly, as they go along the essentially like the home straight uh, it, on tunnel A, they really, really picked up the pace quite considerably those last three or four weeks. Um, if that is the case, the finish date should be after the 11th of June, somewhere in between the 11th of June and the 20th of June. I'm anticipating that tunnel B will finish. What will then happen? Well, they've still got to install the road deck in Tunnel A and then Tunnel B. 
They've got to do all the, the finishing works in the various stations. They've now got two above ground structures. Um, they've also got, got to install the escalators and the lifts at uh, station two. So there's quite a little, uh, quite a bit of work to go there, but the, the system's not going to be open until mid December, late December. So we've definitely got time to finish that. I think we're going to finish a lot earlier than we anticipated. They have then got all the, the trials of running the vehicles and trying to get up to that, that magic number of 4,600 passengers per hour. It's going to be difficult. I, I wish they had a purpose-built vehicle. They don't currently have a purpose-built vehicle. So it's going to be, can they hit that target in the sort of six to eight weeks they have to, uh, to practice in the actual system? Possible. I think that um, uh, Steve Davis is up to the task. I'm very confident he is up to the task. He's it so far to date. I think S Steve has really proved himself to be a really adaptable and quite innovative engineer. And he, and he has accepted that he needed to change the designs and he changed the designs uh, quite quickly for this uh, project. So that's a good sign. So I'm, I'm very positive, very, very positive for this project. I'm hopefully, hopefully, if situations rectify themselves in the next sort of three to six months, I'm hopefully going to be in Las Vegas. Hopefully. I say that um, with a little bit of doubt in my mind because the way things are at the moment, it's a bit difficult to plan anything really, isn't it? Anyway, so... That is that. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe to the channel and join our Discord server. So remember, guys, don't be boring. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much.